mimi mwenyewe nimwahi kuwa na nimwahi kuwa na crashes na mwanamke alikuwa anataka alikuwa kwa serikali na she planned for my death in fact mimi nilibeba kutoka garden city mpaka kisumu Yeah. Nilibeba kutoka Garden City nikapeleka hadi Kisumu. Nimoishikiwa hapa Globe hapa Nairobi hapa Globe hapa chini nikapeleka mpaka Langata. By someone who wanted to eliminate me sababu nimemkata. But sababu ya kopafu. Ni mwanamke alikuwa from some of these powerful families. Na then <laughs> tulikuwa tunajuana, tulikuwa tumejuana nikiwa kuna time tuliku, kuna time okay. This story kuna time gari ilikuwa manga hapa gara. Nikiwa kwa matatu. And then Sunona like gari imekwama then this uh, kuna kuna hii prado ilikuja mbele yetu and they wanted to know what was the problem ndio ilikuwa jioni jioni then tukamwambia ni gari imekwama na alikuwa kulikuwa na makarao ndani walikuwa to my understanding au walikuwa makarao but there was a woman who was there so they asked who is the conductor so i went there and we talk at tukaongea na akachukua namba yangu akaniambia what do you do wakati vitu kama hizi mehape nikasema tunaitanga gari nyingine inabeba abiria inaenda alafu yeah, yeah. so from there tukakuwa in contact kidogo so the next time eh, driver wangu aligonganga gari hapa ngara tena asubuhi mapema but my driver alikuwa wrong so nikamwambia hey bro wewe ndio uko wrong umesukuma hii gari mpaka iko kwa pavement so uh, sababu ya kuongea vizuri eh, mwenye gari aka akakuwa ametulia tulia kidogo so tukarudisha bamba yake na nikachukua namba ya mwenye gari tena again nikamwambia tunaweza kutengenezea bamba yako so we went to meet with this uh, this man kuna hotel kopa town so when we went to the hotel uh, this guy called me nilimwambia tutamtengenezea gari yake lakini after rush hour so when this guy called me uh, your time nilikuwa na dread hiyo time <laughs> So when this guy called me akaniambia na kwa barabara naonanga kukiwa mkiwa mangaa we umetoka wapi you cool unaelewa nikamwambia tufanani si zote na watu wenye kwa barabara maybe unaonanga wakiwa na na nini ni sababu ya stress sababu kazi inakonga tu na kazi ya matatu ni kazi ya stress kidogo kidogo so uh, tukiwa hapa the lady popped up so he said that okay, na nilikuwa na wapi nikamwambia so nikamkumbusha so he was like okay and that's how we bonded up nikakuja kumjua but uh, i really tried to avoid her sababu unajua sasa nilimuulizanga have a girlfriend who is 2021 years 2022 2021 uh, 2021 years and you are around 45 sasa so, so, you give me a reason ya kuacha msana mdogo mrembo for you. Huko unataka pesa? <laughs> Unakatiwa na sponsor unakata. Pesa na mimi ni Lincoln mapesa. So <laughs> your time, your time. Your time I was not Lincoln mapesa but I knew that I'll get money. Oh, I knew that I nilikuwa najitambua because like najua nyota yangu ni ya pesa. You see. Yeah so uh, from there I just want to cut this story short. Tulifika mali tukakwarana zaidi na tuko exchange and that time dio nilianza ku arrestiwa so the first arrest ndio arrestiwa upper globe nilitolewa kwa gari ndani hiyo ni ile time kulikuwa na story ya alshabab walikuwa natupa tupa tu grenade yes so nili arrestiwa kama alshabab ki design hivi nikaingizwa gari nikapelekwa hapo moyo avenue nikakaa karibu 3 hours nimeingizwa kwa ndani ya gari alafu nimefungwa na pingwa na nimefunikwa na pingu hivi hata siwezi communicate simu inalilia kwa mfuko from there um, tuliingizwa hivyo na hiyo kulikuja wakuru wengine watu wengine wakanipeleka na hiyo nini ya langata but there was a lot of calls as if they were bargaining something so vile tulifika langata pale wilson pale juu kuna kuna nini ya government iko hapo hivyo juu kuna mali gari iliyekwa kando ilikuwa sasa ni kitu saa kumi na mbili almost seven but tunapata kuna kalait kidogo so um, jamaa mwenye alikuwa anendesha gari walisimama hapo kando na there is siko nimeshikwa peke yangu there was also another guy was alikuwa amearestiwa walikuwa na bonga bonga hapo na ni kama hawakuelewana so the guy akaniambia bro nikikufungulia utoroke toroka toroka is toroka na wewe usitaki kujua ni nini mehape so sikutoroka mimi 
Mimi kaambia sitoroki sababu akili niliambia nikitoroka nitapigwa risasi. Japo utavuka barabara ni wapi utakimbia? Sasa mimi kaambia sitoroki nipelekeni nirudisheni kwenye mmetoa. Mmenitoa na muniambia umenishika kwa nini? After that kukakuja GK. Yeah, na ilikuwa na vijana walikuwa ndani. So vile waliarestiwa walikuja wakiwa ndani so si tukatolewa tukaingia kwa ile gari. So nikaenda kuingizwa kwa hiyo gari kuna madam alinionyesha. Huyo madam alikuwa mkale, alikuwa m- mtol sana musi alikuwa mkale nchini na kumbukanga alikuwa na matiti kubwa nakwambia alinishikanga kwa gari alinitoanga kwa hiyo land rover hivi kama mtoto hivi hivi akalitoa akanishika hivi akakataa na mimi alafu akaita jamaa alikuwa anaitwa Karimi huyo askari alikuwa anaitwa Karimi akamwambia Karimi hii ujinga ya watoto kuua kuangamiza watoto wenyewe mtawacha this ah kwanza alinitanga msichana alinitanga msichana anafanya nini kwa gari So nikamwambia nika mimi si msichana kaniambia kucha so ndiye alinishika hivi akanitoa yani alishika kama mtoto mpaka tisijwangiwa mama alinishika ngaje hivi akakataa na mimi so akanishukisha na then akanishikilia hapo hivi alafu nimemwanga kama mtoto vile mwangu so aka akawaambia hii story ya kuwa watoto wenyewe sababu ya wadosi itaisha that's why ndio nilichua kumbe maybe ni yule oh, ni yule madam So ikaenda uh, tukaneni madam akaniambia niingie kwa gari kwa hapa nikasema mimi siingie kwa gari nyingine. Jinaweza kuwa ni mchezo na chezewa. So nikavuka barabara magari zikipita pia. Nikasimamisha Nissan mimi nikakuja town. Nikafika pale Wilson nikashuka hapo tena nikaingia Nissan nyingine. Nikateremka nikifika Nyawa Stadium nikaingia gari nyingine. Nikafika. So from there after three weeks nikashikwa tu tena nilikuwa na driver alikuwa anaitwa Aurido. Ilikuwa on Sunday. Pale Garden City hapo hivyo. Majamaa walikuja wamevaa masuti. Wakanishika. Hata kukuwa kuongea, niliinamishwa hivi nikaingizwa kwa kwa nini? So, vile niliingizwa kwa gari, nikapiga vile nilipigia huyo jamaa akaniambia hata nimepiga picha hiyo gari na nini? Wakaambia waka umepiga picha ni sawa. Kutoka hapo wakachukua vitu zangu kachukua ID, kachukua kila kitu, akaniambia kama una ID ya uh, kuwa kwa barabara, kama makanga, wewe shauri yako, nikawapea ID kila kitu. So there was also another negotiation. Na nakwambia tulienda nilishikishwa kwa Kisumu. Kisumu nilishikishwa kwa Kisumu mahali, mahali nilishikishwa kwa Kisumu. Okay, sengine naonanga ni Mungu. Mahali nilishikishwa kwa Kisumu, ah watu waliingia kukula nyama mahali kuna kulikuwa na place ya kukula nyama. That was my first time kwenda Kisumu. Shopa wakula nyama, walienda wakula nyama na mimi niko kwa gari, alafu mmoja akasema leta maabusu kule. Alafu najua hawa si ukiwa kwa gari wanakufunganga design. Hata kwa hiyo gari hakuna kitu naweza chukua. Hata simu huwezi toa hivi. So sikuwa na uwezo naweza chukua simu hivi. Ama naweza chukua nyama hivi nilete kwa mdomo. So what happened? Uh, Waliongea na jamaa katika hawa jamaa hapo. And then there was a meat that I was given to eat. Wakaingia kwa gari wakaenda. So wakiingia kwa gari vile waliingia kwa gari wakienda eh sijui kwa nini sikusahau kuchukua nilisahau kuchukua namba plate hiyo gari. But I was nilikuwa na judge tulikuwa tumeenda karibu 5 hours. Vile nilitisha vile nikaribia nikaita kuna demo alikuwa hapo na alikuwa anataka sana kujua huyu maabusu like you know like mali kuna kaincent utapata kuna mse mmoja ame concentrate so there's a woman who was concentrating on what was happening so nikishikishwa kwa gari nilikuwa nimevaa kijeans kimesagi so nikatengeneza tu vizuri nikakuwa siezi tengeneza one of the officers ndiye alitengeneza nikapeleka kanaambia ndio kule nyama pale vile tulifika hapo kwa hiyo nyama badala huyu jamaa achukua nikatakatia nyama alichukua hiyo nyama akatupa alichukua hiyo nyama akatupa na hakuniambia kitu. So sikumuuliza kwa nini ametupa nyama but that woman mwenye tulikuwa na yeye alimwambia guy, huja kijana ameambiwa kule nyama alafu unachukua hiyo nyama unatupa. Eh uh, that guy akaongea na huyo madam na kijaluo. Yeah, so huyo madam ndiye aliniambia finally eh uh, uh, akaniambia bro, unajua nyama ulikuwa kule ilikuwa na sumu? Ah sasa waliweka sumu ndio kule ukufe. Kwani ni shida ni nini? Amini nikamwambia si si juice. Si juice. So jamaa vile alirusha nyama akatupa ije. So madam ndiye alinisaidia mpaka hata kukojoa singekojoa. Nilikuwa nasikia mkojo lakini nguvu ya mkono mikono ina nguvu ya kufungua tazipu. 
So mbona mbona ni assist akamweka place hapo yuko kila nane kadi assist nikakojoa nikamaliza akanirudishia na kanipatia 5000 so akaniweka 2k hapa kadiweka 1000 2k yani aliweka kwa mifuko zangu na hapo hivyo kamfuko kadogo alikuwa tu mtu wako sawa akaniweka do na akanitia hizo gari za kurudi Nairobi kisi so hii yote eh, nilikuwa nikiarestiwa nilikuwa naambiwa mimi ni member wa Mongeke story za 254 Stories are 254. Check the wiki.